Hi guys, this is Sibylla Mirage. Welcome back to my new channel. Today I will do a little aftermath video, I guess, of my shoe declutter video that I posted previously and I have more unboxings. <laughs> Whew. Okay, as maybe you noticed from my shoe declutter video, I own mainly ankle boots. And I wish I filmed that video prior to buying more ankle boots. It's like, you know, I enjoy buying ankle boots. That's it. I just like ankle boots. I like wearing them, I like styling them, I think they look good on me. I just have a thing for ankle boots and they're mostly black, so it's pretty much just ankle boots and sneakers. Sneakers, I think, it's a normal amount for me because some of them are for working out, some for walking my puppy, and some for like going for walks with like a boy, you know? Um, so yeah, some of them are cute. So what I noticed is that I own no sandals. I mean, I have two Oran sandals from Hermes and I wear them all the time. They're really comfortable. They are really cool looking and I did not want to wear them every day because I can't dress them up and go for like a lunch date or run a quick errand because they don't look like, they're not flip-flops. They look kind of dressier even though it's just a slide. I don't agree with some girls here on YouTube that say that you cannot walk all day in a run sandal, that they're really uncomfortable and they're made for narrow feet. My feet are not narrow, they're like medium to wide and I think that the secret to breaking them in, you need to put lotion on your feet when you are trying to break in any shoes. So just put lotion. Uh, I heard um, that deodorants also work. Um, but for me lotion is better because deodorant is not very healthy I feel like what if your skin breaks and it gets inside it's just like aluminum and stuff when you put lotion on your skin it's very moisturized and there's less friction and it doesn't break um, the shoe doesn't break your skin easily I'm like showing it on my hand so I feel like if you want to try Oran sandals and they're not comfortable or you have them and you don't wear them, I don't have like the most smooth feet. I wouldn't say that they're really bony, but they're not like the smoothest feet, the most narrow feet. And I put lotion on and I broke them in within like three wears, I'd say. And they are the most comfortable shoes now. But remember to put lotion on the bottom because on the bottom they have like this patch of leather glued on and it will rub the bottom of your feet too so they give you blisters underneath as well but if you put a little bit of lotion just where the H is and underneath you will be fine and you will love those sandals so so much so that's why I have two of them in neutral colors because I wear them all the time and I know that a strappy sandal is a classic in any girl's wardrobe and um, you have to have a pair of nude or black or both preferably both but I bought um, Stuart Weizmann nudist sandal in the past they did not work for me they are really uncomfortable I don't know why everybody loves them so much they're the worst shoe ever made like that's my opinion I cannot wear them I would never be able to break them in because the strap is comfortable but there's no support you're pretty much walking on your toes which is just it's just weird there's no heel support in my opinion so nudist sandal went back and i ordered them in 10 centimeter and i think 12 centimeter like the really high version that is really sexy i kind of like them more but none of them worked for me you know what i realized during the pandemic that when i do go out i don't go out often but when i do I want to look my best and I use the most expensive and beautiful things because I feel like they don't get anywhere and I, then I realized that that should be like that every day you should try to look your best every day and you should definitely wear the most expensive and beautiful things because they're usually better quality and they will last you longer so why not just use them use them every day you know if they're comfortable so back to the shoe declutter video when I watched it at the end what I was left with 90% well maybe less I'm exaggerating of my shoes are ankle boots I wish I filmed that video before buying more ankle boots like what the hell is wrong with me I just love buying ankle boots I love wearing them I love styling them I think they go well with absolutely everything you don't need to think I could have gotten away with just one pair of ankle boots um, from Christian Louboutin because I really wanted a fresh pair so I should have just gotten one instead of two 
that being said, I got another pair of ankle boots. And a pair of sandals. So, um, they are from Hermes and um, and it's pretty much the same shoe I already have. I don't like high heel sandals, but I still want to look classy and I still want to be able to wear them out, which I'm gonna do tonight. So I'm wearing them tonight. I have a girls' night out and this, if I don't have to iron it after sitting in it, I will show you. They are so cute and they're so comfortable. I'm so pleasantly surprised. I never tried them in the store, so they are with a little tiny heel. I think it's two inches. How cute are they? And they have a round toe, not like my original Oran sandal. How cute are these? I love them. They are so beautiful. They're so feminine and delicate and just a perfect sandal. And they're really, really comfortable. So they have a lot of support. Your foot is feeling really comfortable. It's pretty much like a flat shoe, but they don't slip out. I hope, I think they're a little bit wider than the original Oran sandal, I think, because my foot just went in and it was perfect. So I hope they don't stretch a lot because if they do, because if they do, maybe they will be a little bit loose, but I love them. They're so, so cute. They're like old money. Uh, it's not really like old money. They're really mainstream right now, but Still, there's something about Hermes Oran sandal that makes me feel very, I don't know, elegant. Even if it's just a sandal, I, I don't know. It's just, they're, they're gorgeous. I want another pair. Maybe I'll order another pair tonight. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe you noticed, maybe not, but my Prada loafer is gone because the first pair was scratched when it arrived. So I tried them on for you and then I got an email confirmation that another pair was shipped to me because I placed another order and it was supposed to arrive from their warehouse. That's what I was told. And when the second pair arrived, it was also all scuffed up. So I think it's just the issue with their like um, brushed, I think it's called brushed leather. And they just left a sour taste in my mouth and I did not want to repurchase them. I just brought them also back. Then I went to look for Prada boots on Nordstrom website. Um, and on Prada website and then I saw these these were not on Prada website for some reason maybe they're sold out I like to see the Prada website price and then um, see the rest of the stores prices because sometimes like Bedford Goodman has higher prices Neiman Marcus definitely ups their prices um, so of course they do price adjustment I absolutely love them I will insert a picture of another mid calf boot that I also liked but it doesn't say Prada anywhere and I don't know whether it's just gonna be like mm, another Zara shoe or something. I wanted to say Prada somewhere but be very subtle so I did not like that. Maybe I'll still get them, I don't know. I mean they're really in but I don't know if I need two pairs of kind of the same boot because the front is the same and you will see that in a second. It said choose your size to see if it's available for pickup. So I chose my size, my size is nine in Prada shoes. They usually run smaller, half a size all of them, even sandals, and um, I saw that they were available for pickup right now at the Grove. So I so I called my essay from the Grove, uh, Jaden, and she told me that she has one pair and it's a return. Um, she sent me a video, she's very honest, very upfront because she knows I don't like when my shoes have been touched or tried on. She said everything is in them, like the stuffing, everything is inside, they look immaculate. Here is the video. So she sends me a video. I literally have to walk across the street to get them and she still sends me a video. I'm like, no, I'll be there in 10 minutes, just keep them on hold for me. I didn't see any scratches on them, they were in perfect condition, so I asked her, could you check if it was an online order or if it was purchased here? She checked for me and she told me they bought three sizes, eight, eight and a half, and nine. So I felt a huge relief. Somebody probably ordered them online and brought them to the store and they just tried all of them on and decided that this one is huge. That's them. <sighs> gosh I love them so so much okay they do have one scratch right here but that's like nothing um, this is how they look they look perfect to me um, they're not very heavy yeah they're not very heavy I don't know if it's foam or rubber because if it's rubber it's gonna wear really well and for much longer if it's foam oh my gosh do you know that Prada loafer the sole is foam 
not rubber so they will not wear very well that's why they're so light they're so lightweight i read about it so i'm kind of glad that we part ways when i returned um the prada loafer i did not have anything in mind i did not want to exchange them um i didn't have any specific style in mind that i wanted so i just returned them so what do you guys think i love them so so much they are absolutely gorgeous they have a little prada logo here and i think that that is perfect that is more than enough i don't like a lot of logo so this is again another pair of ankle boots in my closet but i love them i love them so much i think they're so me if i were a shoe this would be me yeah definitely this would be me uh, well maybe this and like um and one of my Christian Louboutin stilettos with a strap. They're really sexy. So those and this, because I'm a Gemini, I feel like I have a split personality, and I like very, it's so weird. I don't know if it's because of my zodiac sign or I'm just bipolar, but I like complete opposite styles. Like, I either go very casual or very dressed up, very homeless or very old money, very, tomboyish or very feminine there is no in between with me i'm trying to work on it but my style my styles are polar opposites it's weird um i mean i like it but there's no way i can have a capsule wardrobe and there is no way i can have like 10 pairs of shoes every girl needs these 10 shoes in their life i need 50 thank you very much and that's it and now i have 50. i'm not going to try these shoes on for you because i have to get out of the house but i am probably going to take a picture in my sandals because i'm wearing them tonight um with this outfit it's like perfect for not getting any male attention well not excessively it's perfect for not attracting any male attention when you're out with your girls thank you very much for watching guys let me know in the comments what you want to see next and and like this video if you want baby to be safe oh my gosh so beautiful hey hi baby I love you. I love you. Oh, I love her so much. I know, I know. I you. Please subscribe to my channel because I'm all over the place. I upload once a week, but I don't know when. Um, whenever, if you like it, I will see you soon. Bye, guys.